up guys and welcome to affordable ergon reviews today we have a little update to what happened to the stoger xm1 bull shark and 177 which the bull shark is pretty much uh this bull pop air rifle from stoger pcp line uh guys i want to tell you a couple things about what happened to this rifle what it did to the rifle uh pretty much what happened? I sold the rifle. I passed it to my friend. He got chicken coop and he got a lot of rats in the chicken coop and his town doesn't allow him to shoot one uh, anything bigger than 177 pretty much. Uh, nothing like 22 or 25. Imagine 30 caliber. They will go crazy about it. Uh, I know it sounds stupid, but sometimes, you know, rules are rules, laws are laws, and we have to try to follow them, you know, even though I know they're stupid. But pretty much... What I did uh, before, I couldn't have a chance to record anything, but pretty much what I did, the first thing is it was lowering the feet per second. And guys, if you guys remember, uh, let's start with this one. That was a 30 yards using uh, the Gamma Tomahawks. And this is from factory. Guys, you saw on the review, that kind of group is right here is under a quarter. And that's a flyer. Pretty much not bad, but on my point of view, it's not super acceptable for doing pest control because you want a clean kill. And that was shooting right around 1,021 feet per second, somewhere around there. And that was 30 yards, and that this right here, it was uh, 50 yards. And guys, that's not acceptable at all for doing some pest control, even though if you're shooting a starling, a lot of people hate starlings, a lot of people hate rats, uh, but it still is alive and you want to take care of it the right way you don't want to hurt an animal make him suffer and go away and die some in somebody else's yard you're gonna be in trouble so pretty much this is not acceptable at 50 yards with a 177. Uh, i understand and a lot of you guys are saying you know the wind push pellets because it's 177 i get that but when you're paying 500 dollars 549 or something like that on the price range i got it for 449 for the black friday event uh but when you pay for that that money for an air rifle you want something that at least is accurate or is at least a 50 yards somewhere around one inch group you know just to get it accepted let me skip this right away uh so pretty much i'm sorry about that guys uh pretty much you want something that you you can rely on it and is reliable you know so right there you guys can see probably it's 109 and the first shot uh, 1000 1009 feet per second which is still a lot for this air rifle and what i did i tuned the rifle all the way down to 900 feet per second and guys it get better but pretty much i feel like something else was going on and i started watching videos no my ideas i started watching video for other people from the artemis or the snow peak p35 and a lot of people said their baffles are not the greatest. And I took the baffles apart. I tried to I clean in. I end up taking the baffles off of the rifle, which it make this rifle a li little bit more louder. I think it came up another seven more decibels, something like that. I can't remember. So, and then I tested at 30 yards with the Gamma Tomahawks. And guys, I know it doesn't seem a lot of difference, but right there is a full magazine on 30 yards with no baffles. Okay, here's the original one, and here it is. You know, this is only five shots right here, five shots. And look at that, full magazine, 11 rounds right here. And guys, that's way better than expected so i guess the only problems that you're gonna have with this rifle in 177 is the velocity and the baffles if you saw i hear some people chase the baffles i hear some people drill the baffles to make them the hole a little bigger but in 177 the hole is big enough i check it out and guys the pellet is small enough to pass those baffles i guess those baffles are made for 25 caliber which is the biggest uh caliber this rifle is gonna come out and it seems like the baffles is something something going on with the baffles from factory 
and I hope this company touch base on that and fix it if uh, Stoger really make these rifle rifles or let's say a snow pick i hope it touch base with that because my other snow pick rifles or the pcps that i have from snow pick like the pp 750 i haven't done anything on that pretty much you know everything is still pretty much factory setting except the trigger i fix the trigger uh my old uh pp 700 it was just a trigger but no problems at all and the artemis m16a that's my favorite pcp right now that i have at home on 22 caliber and guys that rifle i haven't even touched the trigger it just uh pretty much is loud and i just cover the holes on the on the shroud but after that guys pretty much everything is still the same because they're awesome for the price they're doing great for the price so now let's talk about the 50 yards what is the results that i have and here guys i'm going to show you a couple different pellets because i want to make sure uh they did better and guys here we go so this is 50 yards no baffles and um, factory settings uh, i put it on the um, and here but it's not the real factory settings this is how it is from uh after i i tuned the rifle so it's it's just all cardboard that i use uh, but pretty much uh here's the gamo t ts10 uh, 50 yards pretty much around two inch or some uh pretty much uh group and this is a heavy pellet and here on top is the crossman uh pellets hollow points the premier hollow points and this is what you're gonna spec and two down here and guys look at the tomahawk at 50 yards and look at that that looks way better than what it was compared to this with the tomahawk at 50 yard so pretty much guys uh this rifle and 177 it's not accurate friendly pretty much at that velocity that he comes from factory and guys it's not a big deal all you need to do is just touch the hammer spring the rifle is regulated i find out it's regulated so you're not gonna have any problems just fix the hammer spring take it down please use a crony so that way you don't underpower the rifle and guys you'll get a good rifle for that price pretty much remember some people don't like it some people want uh, bigger rifles you know it's all about choices but for me if you're gonna do pest control from your from your truck pretty much and like right now guys it's cold outside a lot of people just doing pest control inside their vehicles uh long rifle like the artemis m16a guys that's a long rifle you know like the gauntlet it's a super long rifle heavy these tiny rifles they're perfect for that job and some people don't like it i hear a guy somebody said and and my facebook somebody posts it's an ugly rifle and guys for me it's not the prettiest but it's pretty cool it does the job it does the job the uh the way they make this rifle but if you tweak here and there you'll get a better rifle that's what i'm trying to say and here's the results uh if i have a chance i'm gonna contact my friend thompson and see if i can get the rifle back in any time and work with the rifle make a couple videos if i can or he doesn't sell the rifle whatever happened to the rifle i don't know what's gonna happen but if i can bring the rifle back in a future i will bring it back and do some pest control or some uh testing so i can show you guys how this rifle get better with this kind of tuning so remember this two things that you need to do if you get this rifle very easy remove the baffles the baffles are not gonna help you and the second thing if you get a 177, please lower the feet per second to at least 900, 930 feet per second. It's, it's more than enough for a squirrel or uh, rats or birds. That's perfect. That's what you're looking for. As long that you're dead on. All right, guys. Hope this video uh, helped you. Some of you guys hope this uh, brings some more information. It's not a lot of information out there about this rifle, but it is what it is, guys. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.